So what are some of the upcoming quality of life features that uh, players can look forward to? Wow. In Dragonhold? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Should we do Dragonhold first Let's and then Dragonhold we do performance? Yeah, right. Let's okay. talk a little bit about Dragonhold because we did say that we were gonna be giving you a little bit more information That's about right. this, yes. <laughs> so Dragonhold is our Q4 story DLC. It's similar in size and scope to Merkmire or Clockwork City. The focus of the storyline or the majority of the storyline here is on the Dragon Guard and kind of putting the band back together, so to speak. <laughs> um, like, you're going to learn a lot more about the Dragon Guard, kind of who they are, what they're all about, why they're important to the world of Tamriel. And then, as Jess you know, mentioned earlier, this is the culmination of the season of the dragon, and so you're going to tie off all the loose ends. So this is um, footage from Dragonhold. It's the first time that we showed off any of this footage before. So it looks really <laughs> nice, I think. Yeah. What so, city was that, Rich? <laughs> what are uh, we looking Seneschal? at? Seneschal? <laughs> the, the city is Seneschal, so this is in Southern Elsewhere. Yes, Southern Elsewhere. You're going to get to explore a lot more of that and kind of see um, a different type of uh, Khajiiti architecture. Excellent. Cool. We, we don't want to spoil it too much because... Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't played through Elsewhere yet, we can't talk about this too much without spoiling <laughs> vast parts of that story. It's like so. flipping to the end of the book. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to I choose my words very <laughs> carefully. <laughs> so we'll be talking a lot more about Dragonhold sort of as we get a little bit closer after we release. Um, Scale Breaker. I keep wanting to say Scale Caller. Like, I we did be, that already. I can't be the yeah, only yeah, one I, that keeps doing that, right? <laughs> So, um, as Jess was saying, this isn't the only thing that we're working on, mm -hmm. and we have um, improvements to some quality of life features and also to the activity finder. And this is something that we tested in this current PTS cycle with some players. Um, we turned on some new code that we have for matching players up in dungeons. Yep. So, um, how, how is all of that work going, and what can players sort of expect from it? When are we thinking that's going to be coming out, et cetera, et cetera? So, <laughs> LFG in particular is something that we basically rewrote from the ground up. So uh, there were lots of issues with it, especially under load. The team went back, reworked that entire system. Um, we, like you said, we did the test on PTS. Uh, it uncovered a few things. We're still working on that stuff. And it will go uh, ideally up in update 24, which is Dragonhold. And then that kind of leads into the other big thing that we're, we're working on a lot, and we don't talk about, um, but it's, it's performance. And this is something that the community has talked to a lot. You said, hey, you guys don't do anything. You're ignoring us. No, we're not. We're working on things. A lot of the things we're working on, though, are very, very long pulls. And so you can see some of the things that we're working on. Um, you know, memory management is a big thing. Uh, and one of the things we're working on with that is kind of how we allocate memory and how we, you know, free it and, and, and request it. And right now, one of the big issues we have is just how it gets fragmented. So like a hard drive, you copy a whole bunch of things all over the place on the hard drive. The old hard drive's got fragmented and you have to defrag it. Um, we're working on a system to clean that up and make it better. So you're going to see uh, a major improvement in terms of stability, less crashing, less dashboarding if you're on console. You'll see Especially it. on lower spec machines, oh, yeah. like the base PS4 and the base Xbox One. Yep. That'll have a big, uh, a big quality of life improvement just yeah. with that change. Alone. And you should see some uh, performance improvements with that as well. And then on top of that, uh, we're looking at abilities and looking at their impact on the server, how they work, uh, optimizing those. We talked about the, the LFG system. Now, the behind-the-scenes um, combatability improvements, that's completely different from the ability audits that yes. we've already yeah. been working yeah, on. Yeah, this is more looking at the abilities from a server performance and mm -hmm. client performance side of things rather than do these numbers math out correctly. Yeah. To, to the user, it's more when you're in a... Uh, in a situation where there's lots of combat going on in PvP or in trials, the server gets, gets, uh, gets under load way too mm -hmm. much. This is uh, um, kind of one of the, our first step. You know, so there's version 2 coming up uh, later. Later on, um, yeah. So this is the first thing to, to take care of some server optimizations to make sure in combat that the server isn't, isn't too much under load and stuttering. Yeah, and so some team members are working on those things, but others are also working on quarter one's next year's updates. Uh, the patching overhaul is kind of the biggest one that we're actively working on, have been for quite a yeah. long time. 
And this touches pretty much every file in the game. Wow. Yes, it's a, it's a big update. And, and uh, what we're doing is we're going through and we're looking for duplicate assets, old assets that are no longer needed now that we do things better and smarter. Uh, we're removing a lot of that. So that'll free up a ton of space on your, on your hard drives. Um, especially console. Yeah, especially console. <laughs> Uh, that will also reduce the overall sizes of patches going forward once we do this. It does mean that uh, when we do push this out to live, everybody's going to have to re-download the game while it repatches everything and gets it to the new system. But, but it's once, for the greater good. Yeah, once that <laughs> happens, the patching should be uh, a, a lot more streamlined and faster. And loading, and loading into the game and loading into new areas will be greatly, uh, greatly improved after mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and that's uh, another part of this. We're taking the opportunity, while we have to touch all the assets anyway, to update our libraries, you know, our compression libraries. And that's going to, like Matt said, significantly reduce uh, load times. It's going to make things load a little bit faster, you know, less player, those black silhouettes that you see everywhere on, you know, in high traffic situations, a lot of those are going to go away now because things will load faster. We're all caught at 7 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and we're going to be releasing, I think, this week um, a, a post next which... Week. Next week. Next week. Next week. Well, this, yeah. this week meeting. Oh, yeah. this, this next week. <laughs> I guess week technically it'll be. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime <laughs> in the next seven days, uh, we will be releasing an uh, update um, on the website, which goes into this in a lot more detail and kind of uh, who the, the fixes are targeted at and, and uh, the expected user uh, um, results. So, you know, we're, we're taking this performance thing seriously, but when you dip into the guts of the game that's been running for, you know, five years, it's been in development for 12, we got to be really careful how we do it in places. So, but this is, uh, we've been working on a lot of these for months and months now, but uh, we're more and more confident that, uh, that they'll start to hit at the, at the dates that we told them. Yeah, and told you. when that article goes live, we'll also update that regularly, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're going to try for at least once a month, you know, and just give you a status update of kind of where we're going and what we're doing and uh, as we uncover new things, you know, some stuff may change, but that's, you know, what you saw there is, is what we're working on and what we think is going to uh, dramatically impact performance of the game. And when you say performance, what does that mean? Because we'll see a lot of people say, like, this is laggy, which can mean a lot of different yeah. things. So yeah. when you're talking about improving performance, it's, what does yeah, that mean it, for it's everybody? It's a bunch <laughs> of different things, but it's frame rate, it's server responsiveness, it's uh, being disconnected and the client crashing in some cases. Um, it's load, load times. Yeah. It's uh, it's all of those things. It's it's all of those things. Anything it's that looking has for a group not working under load. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, everyone will be glad to know we are burning that system to the ground and and rewrite and rewrote it completely. Yes. So uh, that will be uh, it'll be much better. Well, that's exciting. Can't wait to start getting some of that yeah. out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, Q4 this year is kind of the it's beginnings the first of that. You know? Of many, yes. Yeah. And again, like like Matt and Rich said, that graphic that you guys saw um, that'll be going up on the website sometime next week with a full article kind of detailing all of those things. Yep, and the timeline graphic will have a social asset push for that as well every month. 